Hello everyone, welcome to my blood house build. I'm going to build a house of blood. I found a neat mod where you can have different coloured waters and I'm going to use that to make a house of blood. This is the area that I'm going to do it, so let's get started. After initially clearing the trees, I'm going to start working on the foundation. I tend to do this to start with, but it's very important to do. I'm going to use crimson stems for the base and the walls. The idea is that this is going to go straight up to the ceiling and form a big oblong shape. That's my house. It looks quite ominous, like a giant block. Gonna poke a little door in here and that's my little indoor space. Pop some little staircase in, that's so I can get in the house. Nice and simple. And then I'll use a mangrove door to get in. Once that's done, I'm gonna put some little shroom lights at the top. Make sure it's nice and lit inside. And once that's done, I'm gonna start working on the staircase. This is quite important because I wanna get upstairs to the bedroom area. Again, add some more shroom lights. I want it nice and lit inside, safety first. And carry on building the staircase. At the top, I'll level it off nice and neat. And this area is gonna be for sleeping, hopefully. When I'm happy with that, I'm going to add some nice red carpets to the bottom floor. This is really looking good. And then I'm going to pop in a couple of chests just to the side here. And then a nice little crafting table. That's really good. The staircase looks brilliant. It's not the safest in the world, but it is good. Now I'm going to pop in a couple of beds. Two red ones. Put them this side, actually. It looks a bit better that way because then you can put the stairs there, look. If you put the stairs this side, you can have like a bedside table. Put some trapdoors in, and then some flower pots as well. A flower pot here, a bookcase here, and a flower pot on top. That looks really good. Pull the carpets down and then add windows. Once the red windows are in with connected textures, I'm gonna start working on the blood. The blood is gonna flow down the house to make it look awful. I think it looks great. I want the luminous water, I think, because it adds a bioluminescence and it lights the area up quite nicely. That looks good. It's flowing off the edge. Brilliant. I'm going to add some window boxes soon, too, but I want to make sure everything looks good with the water. It does take a lot of time fiddling around, making sure the water's flowing properly. The water physics in Minecraft are a little bit finicky, but, you know, once you've got the hang of it, it's quite decent. It's all flowing down quite nicely and it's very bloody. That looks really good. Now I'm going to have a look at doing the window boxes. I think he looks really good from the outside so far. So what I'm going to do is add some black glazed terracotta and some crimson nilium or nilium so I can put some mushrooms up there too. That looks quite nice. Have a look around. Not exactly sure about that glazed terracotta right now, but the trapdoors do look really cool. They make it look like a proper flower box and I think that's neat. I do like the black glazed terracotta, but I'm not exactly sure about it. It does look really neat with some of these crimson vines coming down. I think it's a pretty good house idea so far. Let me know in the comments what you think. Chop some of those vines, there's too many of them. It's growing over the door and I don't like it. Oh, that's pretty neat actually. I like it so far. There's a missing box here, so what I need to do is add some more vines and then work on the box. I don't mind that the window's covered, to be honest. I think it adds an extra layer to the house. Let's go around here and put some soil in. Cool. Then some glazed terracotta blocks and trapdoors. Yum yum. Put the fungus in and then put some stairs above it in a minute. Check, yeah, check the other one and then put some stairs in. There we go. Put some nether wart above it. Maybe I think I prefer that, you see. So now I'm going to put some more soil in, trapdoors, and put some mushrooms in. It looks a lot neater with that nether wart. 
So I'm going to go around and remove all the glazed terracotta because I think it looks a lot neater with the nether wart instead. Add some weeping vines at the top. Make sure that's growing down nicely. Just a little bit over the window, that's good. Have a look at this one. There's too much water there. Let's add some soil first and trapdoors. I need to head back to the top to try and rescue that window. Too much water. See the mushroom gets destroyed there. That's no good. I need the mushrooms to be alive. No, it's making it worse. Head up to the top. Try and remove a column of water. That doesn't seem to work. There we go. I've got rid of all of it. Wait for the water to disappear. And then put it in again. Nice. Oh, what? It's still messed up. Okay, I'll put some glazed terracotta in there. Oh, and it's making it worse. See how fiddly the water is sometimes. It can be a real pain. Wait for the water to subside all the way down. And then I can put the bucket of water back in again. Ugh. Having to wait for that is a pain. Has it gone? I get that mushroom real quick. It's still kind of there, look. That's a big mess. Something to do with this column of water. That's really strange. Okay, that'll do. I've got rid of a lot of water, now I can fix this panel. I've got rid of a lot of the water, now I can fix this side. Kind of got to wait a while for that, but it's not a problem. Let's put the, let's put the soil in and the trapdoors for this window box. Good. Remove some of this. Remove some of the nether rack. Put the little window frame in. And now that the water's gone, I can try again and put it back in properly without it going crazy. Add the nether wart. I think that looks really neat. Mm. I'm still fancying the black glazed terracotta. It does look good. But I'm not exactly sure, really. I think it's neat without. Yeah, I'm going to change it here as well, look. It's a lot better with the nether wart. It looks lovely with the nether wart. It just looks more of a nethery kind of house with that. Now that the water's subsided on this side, I'm going to just replace those. There's too much nether wart there, so I'll remove it and just have a few. Put some weeping vines underneath and let them grow down a bit. That looks really good. Now I'm going to put the water in and hope it doesn't make a big mess. Let's have a look. Oh, that looks fine. It's not messing up my window box. Oh no, the top one. Put some crimson things in to just stop the water. Oh, okay, that's fine. Put the mushroom in. And that looks really good on the side. The windows look great. This one needs a bit more water, but I need to add another window box. So follow the same steps for the window box and put the fungus in and the trap doors. Nice. Put the top part of the window box in. Where did that go? In the tree. One, two, that's done. Nice and neat. Put some nether wart blocks in. I think all of the window frames look really good now. Put some vines at the top. Grow those down, nice and long. And then add the water. Yeah, the blood house. I say water, it's blood. The blood house is bloody, it's great. Yeah, this bit's a bit weird, but it looks cool. I think the whole thing looks really fancy, actually. I'm not going to change that water thing there. It looks good. The blood house is finished. It looks spectacular and a bit weird. That looks really good. Now what I'm going to do is go take a tour of the blood house. So join me on my tour as I go up these perilous stairs. Okay, what I'm going to do is look through the window and go to bed. Oh no, what's happened to my house? Why can't I sleep in the nether? I didn't know this. I've got to fix it. I've got to fix it. Let's put the fires out. I'm Ixicle and I'll see you next time.